Hey guys, welcome back to BD Themes official channel. We have announced and launched the new version of Element Pack Pro widget recently. The version is called 5.14.1. In this video, I'll be introducing three consecutive versions of Element Pack. The versions are 5.12, 5.13, and 5.14. So, let's get started. First, Convecti effect is known as a party popper that creates a digital effect on your website resembles like the one from the real world. It's an extension that you can activate for many widgets, sections, etc. There are a variety of styles available to meet all ends perfectly. The activation condition could be hover, on click, and there's more to it. Feel free to use this effect in your web page for a fun experience. Next is the model widget. We have been improving this piece of widget for a wide range of applications and we're sure you're going to love it. Now a new option link section has been added to model. Let's select the option from the source. It will ask for a section ID. Now the fun part begins. Go to the section settings for the section below and give it a CSS ID. Copy the ID and paste it inside modal. Update the settings and head for the preview page. Now clicking on the model will reveal the whole section. Amazing right? Next, we have added the item mouse interaction feature to our panel slider widget. Let's click on the switcher and you will see the items having some motions by hovering your mouse over them. It makes the slider more fun to use. We have also added content glass morphism in the FAC widget. Main Heading Spacing option in Advanced Heading widget, Show Hidden Item option in all Carousel type widgets and more. There are also minor fixings and some of the regular widgets. The wrapper link extension has been added to Element Pack Pro plugin for Elementor. It's a global feature available for widgets, sections, columns, etc. For example, click on the section settings icon in the layout tab, click on the wrap all link option and paste your web link on the field. Same way, you can use this feature for the individual widgets here. Don't forget, you can use it for the column too. By using the wrapper link extension, you can add live links to anything within your web page. It's just that easy. Next, let us show you the new widget skin for our fancy card widget. It's named Flux. It looks like this and when you hover over the card, it shrinks back revealing the content inside. That's not all, we added more awesome features to our existing widgets including new query in WooCommerce product, WooCommerce carousel and WooCommerce slider. There's also header border in price table and data label option added to fancy curd. The advanced calculator widget is a new addition to our arsenal. This is a first ever feature brought to you by Soli Element Pack Pro. It's a user interactive cost calculation system. Let's click on the first value item to see the options inside. 
Here you can set the type of calculator field from the six types text, number, hidden, disabled, select, and radio. Let's choose select type. Give a title text and then put the text with value number in the options field. Use a pipe char to let the calculator count the value. It won't count otherwise. A new line means a new option. You can also mention the value within the options using anything other than the pipe chair in front. Let's add up to four options for now. For the second field, we'll keep the setting similar and work with the hosting prices. Next, click on the Add Item button and go with Number Type this time. Add a level and keep it there. On the fourth item, let's go with Select again, adding a level and some options in the field. Next, we'll add a disabled field. This will help you display a fixed value that the user can't change. Let's add label and then from the advanced subsection, place a default value that the calculator will count. In case you want to hide the labels, you can do it from the form layout. It also has content alignment options and input fill size. Time for the most vital part of the advanced calculator widget. In the formula section, you need to define the algorithm of the calculator using mathematics. Here, F means field, alongside a number according to the order. This is a sophisticated area that supports dynamic and complex mathematics as well. You can go with simple calculations or go for something more complicated if you need. There's no limit. Then you can change the result text from this section below. All done? Let's check it out. Go to the preview mode. Just access the calculator like a normal person with random selections. Hit all the options, can touch the disable field, then clicking on the submit button to show the total price. Easy yet awesome. We also made some demo templates to help you understand the various uses of this advanced calculator widget. Just visit the demo page. Next is the grid line extension for Element Pack Pro. You can find this one in the extensions tab in the dashboard. Turn it on and save changes. Now on the Elementor page editor, go to page settings. You will find grid line option there. Click it on and turn on the switcher. What it does is, it creates grid interface on the full page background. There are color options, number of grid lines, outline, max grid width, line width, etc. You can even shift the direction of the grid. It works both ways, helps you design a page using the grid for better accuracy and design stunning pages with grid style. We have both examples ready to help you understand this feature better. Next is the scroll box extension. Like before, it's located under the extensions tab just turn it on and save changes.
Now pick a text box with lots of texts. Go to the style tab and turn on the scroll box switcher. You can see that the text got shrinked in a box with a scroll bar on the right side. The box height is changeable. You can also customize the scroll bar width. There are some other options there for you to explore. We have included a bunch of demo to make you understand this feature. Also note that the scroll bar is not limited to just text. You can access this option from the style settings. Next is the tile scroll extension. Turn it on the same way as previous. You will find this option inside section settings in the advanced tab. Turn it on and start adding items and item elements. Each item lets you select your images alongside start and end animation controls. Each item fills out a portion of the display. However, you can keep their orientation straight, vertical, horizontal, rotation and anything you want using the style menu. We have added a number of demo templates too. This feature helps you decorate the section background without any widgets. Last but not least, we have added query options to the fact widget. Now you can show many things using the fact interface like portfolio, products, authors, etc. Well, that's not all. We have also fixed some minor issues and improved our code structures, so Element Pack Pro is now more advanced, better, and faster than ever. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time.